What's up guys? Skyler here. I had a few people that were wondering about my bungee launch system that I just made up and all the components to it. So I thought I'd kind of give you a walkthrough of the whole thing and you can kind of see all the parts to it and how I get it all together and how it works. Uh, this is the whole thing. This has everything you need to launch your wing. Whether it's the, all from the table, the bungee, the mechanics, everything. I keep it all in this bag. It only weighs 25 pounds, you can see here. And it's pretty small. It takes up maybe about space of like two or three folding chairs, maybe in your car. It's way better than the fold out ones that take up a lot of space, especially when you got a car like mine. Let's take a walk through. All right, so this is the table company. It's Alps Mountaineering. It's kind of a pricier table, but us guys in the Midwest, I actually found the first one that I used for camping and brought it to a meet and uh, everybody just loved it and asked where they could get it. And then uh, a lot of times it's on sale on Amazon, so you can get it for, I think I've seen it for like 60 bucks, cheaper even sometimes. Uh, they're super worth it. They are really nice. They go up to a maximum height, of like it's like a bar table. Like you don't even have to lean over while standing, which makes it nice when you want to repair stuff. Uh, it also goes good for launching planes. So, if I get her open, here one sec. There's all the innards. I'll pull them out piece by piece here just so you can see what I've got in here and lay it out. So in here I keep, this little case is actually the launching system that I just did. I just keep it in this little motor case, like an Emacs case. I got a ton of these, so they come in so handy for keeping parts and stuff together everywhere. And we have our scale. This one's like Chris has pretty much. Uh, it's just for pulling out the right tension so you can get the right amount of pull for your whatever wing you're launching, depending on the weight. Uh, I usually do, I've pulled it to like 20 to 25 pounds uh, for my drag, my mini drag, and it does fine. It's usually like a four, four to five to one. So if your plane weighs, you know, five pounds, five to one would be 25 pounds of pull. Uh, here is my whole bungee system. Uh, I believe it's just 3 8 tubing. Uh, it's just like Chris's Rip Start Bungee uh, that he sells. Uh, I just happen to already have this from a friend, so I just kind of made my own up from it. And then I keep it actually all reeled up on an old uh, spool from my 3D printer, and it works excellent. It just keeps it all together real nice. It's easy to pull out, it's easy to store, uh, and I'll get that unraveled here in a little bit. Uh, the other things you always need, my dead blow. Old one from work. It's all gooped on this side because it broke open. Still works great though for pounding in stakes if you need to. Uh, inside here, we have the poles to the table. We also have my dog stick, which that's what we're gonna anchor the bungee with on the other end of the table to pull us into the air. I like these screwing ones because I think they hold better. I don't want to risk using like a big nail and having that pull out somehow. I feel like these are just better and you can get these everywhere. They're at any pet store will have those, Walmart even. And then we have parts to the table. This is the table top. It all folds up real nice and it's just these hard slats and this stitching kind of really cheapy fakey leather material. You can actually see where the ropes pulled on it when I'm bungee launching. It's kind of wore off so I might have put some duct tape or something on that. And then we have the actual table base right here. And then I just have some miscellaneous things if needed. I've noticed with this table, the way I have it set up and pulled, it seems to want to almost tip over. So I've just got a couple of stakes in here I can drive down and then some bungees, extra paracord if needed. This is actually how I used to launch it with the old mechanism. I used to have this string pulled out towards me and just give it a yank and that would launch it. So that's really everything. Table, bungee reel, stake, scale. That launcher is optional. It's the auto launch and then just any tools you need. And that's everything. So let's get it set up. And there you have it. That's the table. All right. Now on step two is your bungee. This is like 3 8 diameter, I want to say one inch thick material. 
three six. Eh, it's got to be one eighth, one eighth inch. Uh, I'm not sure how much length this is. We'll have to kind of gauge it. I want to say it's about 20 feet. I have this is doubled up then. So I got two two bungees hooked to a carabiner at the end, uh, and then I bought a bunch of key rings. What I did is you roll it up kind of like you would like a sleeve, not like slide it up, like roll it, is roll back the tubing. And what I did here is I have some paracord and I made a large knot, you can see. I think there's actually another one, a smaller one here. And actually fed that down in there with a pair of tweezers and then folded it back. So now you have this knot inside of this tubing. And then what I did is I sealed it off. Actually, I think I used honestly some electrical tape and taped it very tight not you know super tight it's still flexy and stuff but taped it and then this is a piece of heat shrink that i put on there just to cover it all up if i need to replace this somehow i can cut this off and this loop is perfectly big enough to barely fit this guy off of there and i can switch this out if i want to i can replace that and just pull that out but anyway that was the best way i found for this to get in contact with it without having it be you know zip tied down you have this sharp angle that can like slowly slowly start to like tear into this when you have it stretched and then you're going to get like a snap in the ass and it's not going to be fun another reason why i have two is then i don't need as long of a bungee because these things can stretch out far and use one strand remember this is 20 20 pounds total so i'm putting technically if i have two that's 10 pounds on each one of these stretched out if I only had one, I'd have to stretch it twice as far to get the same amount of pound pull. So that's why I have two, is because it was I want to get it shorter. If I wanted it even shorter, I could go three or four. But remember, when you have it that short, it's going to really, really shoot the plane up like a slingshot, literally. It's going to just wing way off, and you're not going to be able to possibly control it. And then you're going to crash at high speed off of a bungee, which isn't going to be good. That's about 20, 25 feet. I'll have the, the right length up here for you. Now probably about, I don't know, I'd say maybe, I could shorten this up for sure, but two thirds of the way through, there's the other end of the bungee, same system, same loops, same key ring. Another carabiner going to this guy where I've just doubled up the knot and then threw some heat shrink on there just to keep it kind of I'm getting frayed, damaged. I don't know. I just like it. I think it looks kind of good. Keeps it nice and tight. It won't come loose at all. So we got two strings coming off here. Why two strings? Well, so one of these is going to be attached to the launch system. And one of them is going to the plane on a little hook. That you'll have 3D printed, something on the bottom. Hell, you could have a nail, anything that's at an edge, just for it to hold enough that it's going to launch you and it's going to let go easily. Chris has got a lot of prints. There's prints on Thingiverse. There's prints everywhere. You so that's this whole thing. Let's set this guy up. Cha. Ching. By the way, this will not be to the correct tension or pull poundage. So we're just doing this for demonstration purposes only. This is where you'd use the scale. You hook it up there. You hook your scale up to this end. Just like, just like so. And then you're gonna pull that until you get the right amount of pound pull for the aircraft you're launching, being whatever the weight is. So that is how we determine how much to pull. Just for an example, across my whole yard, we're still only getting 12 and a half pounds. That's all the way to almost the fence. So now on to the launcher. So I have this automated launcher that I just made up consisting of this little print right here, one little nine gram servo I had laying around, and my case, we don't need that. So then down here we have our archery release right here. So this guy, I bought it cheap at Cabela's, it was like 20 bucks. It's a little cheap junior one, it works fine though. And all I did with this, is it came with this threaded nut, or this, I'm sorry, this screw, and all I did is drilled out this one of these rivets, that was right here, and replace the same spacer and put a wing nut and some washers on it tightened her up it even spins if i want it to but it's there and it's not going anywhere it's on the table so i've got this for the servo it pops right up here nice and pretty and this little hole sleeve is for that trigger so all you have to do 
Let's just slide that baby on. Done. Now we can set up our launcher with the servo and now it will just send her away. So then what we got is the servo lead and this guy's gonna go up here. Got that mounted right about here and it plugs into this guy, the mini drack. So really where it's plugging in, it's on the bottom, mind the grass, it happens. So you can see right here, I've got a female, or I guess it's a male, servo connector. And I've just literally just stuck it in there. I just gooped it on there for now. I'll cut it out if I need to move it, but it's in a really good spot right now. Channeled it a little bit there, running through to the top. And on the top, you can see it running right up here and into one output on my receiver so that that's what sends the signal to launcher. Now, let's talk about the hook on it. I can give you an example. Bungee pulled up to our whopping 12 pounds. Split it right here for two pair of cords. One is running down. Back here to the launcher, holding all the power right now. Up here, we have one here. I've thrown a little knot in just to shorten it up for now because it runs off my table. And then what we'll do is you'll simply, this is the last thing you want to do. This is like taking the safety off, really. You're going to connect that guy. Just like that. Set her back and you're ready to rock and roll. Right now, technically, if I touch that switch, my drag's going to the other side of the yard. <laughs> so, we're gonna take that off. Ready, set, go. All right, boys, well, I hope that was helpful in figuring out how to launch your wing. Uh, that's just my setup. You can do however you want it. You know, it's just a million ways to do them. Huh? I hope mine just helps some people figure out some ideas for theirs and how they can make it work for them. I just like mine being portable, small. I can carry it anywhere. I don't have to worry about a big ass flat table to take with me and a bunch of box of parts and stuff like that just to put it all together. So all in that bag, all I need is that, my flight bag and this guy, and I'm ready to have any kind of fun I want. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you later. Bye.